Tell me when you're going. Go. Alright. Check it out. Got some granite here. This would be good chondritic material. Throwaway granite. It's already broken. Actually, it broke that piece when I pulled it up in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the granite and slam it against the other granite and see if it accretes or if it melts, as in the nebula hypothesis. They want you to believe that when two pieces of chondritic material like this slam into each other, what happens is, is they accrete and they melt. Here, go ahead and uh, point down that way, Chris. Point at the granite right there. You got it? Do you see any accretion happening? Is there a really big temperature change? I don't think so. Now that's exactly what happens when two pieces of material slam together in outer space, only they're traveling at a much higher velocity. Actually, you don't even need to travel at very high velocity. What you need to do is, boom, shatters, breaks apart. And now you have the gravity of the Earth that keeps it there. Now if that were to happen in outer space, this material will keep on going in that direction. And what I really want to do is slam this, even just on the ground alone. Let's see what happens. Alright, we got one crack right here. But that little crack, what that would do, is slowly separate. Depending on how fast the velocity was that it cracked in. Might as well just crack another piece. Let's try to throw this one a little bit harder. Now this one would be going really slow. This piece over here would go way the hell over there. Probably have an escape velocity. Maybe about mm, 30 feet per second. But all in all, as you can see, material just doesn't clump together. It doesn't melt, it doesn't clump, it just shatters and blows apart. And that's exactly why the nebula hypothesis secretion model doesn't work. Alright man, I'm done.